This evening, Maria Sharapova turned up for her sixth straight appearance here at Melbourne Park, facing the veteran Lindsay Davenport. Sharapova didn't give Davenport too many opportunities and served well on the big points as she bullied the new mum around the court. The 20-year-old didn't mess around overthrowing Davenport in just 106 minutes. Is this the young Russian's year to shine? I really treated it as a, as a, as not just like a second round. I, I treated it as maybe a semis or a final. Um, you know, ever since I saw a potential matchup with her, I was, I was getting ready for it. There was plenty of colour as French and Spanish fans filled Margaret Court Arena tonight. The number eight seed Richard Gasquet came up against a familiar rival tonight, playing Feliciano Lopez from Spain. Gasquet upset the Spaniard with 35 total winners, forcing 30 unforced errors. Despite Lopez's high first serve percentage, Gasquet's ground shots were just too strong. The Frenchman claimed a third round, played in just 89 minutes, 6-2, 6-1, On Rod Laver Arena tonight, the number six seed Andy Roddick stepped on court for his seventh straight Australian Open, taking on German Michael Barrer in a potentially tough second round assignment. The two played an impressive game, entertaining crowds with some nail-biting rallies. Roddick forced 45 unforced errors from the racket of Barrere, who played poorly on the big points, as the American handled the pressure far better. The A-Rod in three straight entertaining sets. He kind of established early he was getting in on pretty much anything that he could. You know, if he was getting one one step into the court, even if he was behind the baseline, it seemed like he was charging. So, uh, you know, I, I figured it was pretty cold. The ball wasn't really going anywhere. So I figured I would uh, maybe let him take his chances a little bit um, from back there. And over the long haul, I felt like uh, I might get ahead.